the arms race has reached a new level, becoming more technological, scientifically intensive, and, accordingly, more dangerous. Billions of dollars a year are spent on the development of new types of weapons and military equipment. Technology does not stand still, allowing scientists and engineers to implement their most daring ideas. A particular growth can be seen in military aviation, a relatively new field that can be successfully used in war and deliver critical strikes. Recent developments in the field of military aviation are dedicated to the so-called sixth generation fighters, most of which are currently only at the prototype stage. What kind of generations are they, and how do they differ from modern fighters? Let's figure it out. In general, sixth generation fighters are meant to be automated unmanned aircraft of maximum efficiency. The absence of a human factor, unlimited maneuverability, inclusion in the general computer system for combat control. This is how engineers characterize this generation of fighters. However, this is just the beginning. Fighters of the sixth generation are predicted to have supersonic or even hypersonic speeds, as well as super maneuverability at these speeds. They will be able to achieve this thanks to the super thin profile and smooth contours of the fuselage and wings. In addition, sixth generation fighters will be true professionals in long range strikes. Their long flight range will allow them to strike at super long distances. And being equipped with high power laser and electromagnetic weapons and super powerful missiles with hypersonic speed will ensure the accuracy of these strikes. In addition, fighters of this generation will be fully integrated into all combat control systems, submarine, sea, land, and even space. Sounds too unrealistic? Maybe. However, developed countries, including the United States, are actively working on the development of prototypes of such technological deadly machines. The United States plans to begin arming new fighters as early as the 2030s, which is just 10 years from today. Moreover, the United States now has several very promising prototypes of sixth generation fighters. In particular, a new generation of advantage in the air. The FX Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, fighter jet. Let's get to know it better. Work on the NGAD, New Generation Air Superiority Program, began in the early 2010s. It focuses on the development of new engine technologies, stealth, advanced weapons, digital design, and thermal control of aircraft signatures. At its core, NGAD is a kind of family of systems in which the fighter is the central element, which we will consider a little later. The rest of the system will be essentially just unmanned aircraft for transporting additional ammunition and performing other tasks. The NGAD program pays special attention to the operational needs in the Indo-Pacific region, where the existing military units of the US Air Force do not have sufficient range. The program itself has enormous potential. It can radically reform the defense industry. If the US Air Force switches to buying a fighter from NGAD soon, the FX NCAD will become a direct competitor to the F-35 and F-15EX programs and could put them at risk. In addition, as advanced NGAD manufacturing technologies have been pioneered by the commercial sector, the program could open the door for new prime contractors for the aircraft. One of them may well be the founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, who could get the opportunity to develop a competitive rival for the F-35. The NGAD program is based on the FX NGAD fighter, or as it's also called, Penetrating Counter Air, PCA. This fighter model is slated to use the adaptive cycle engines developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, and the Next Generation Adaptive Engine Program, NGAP. Engine development is projected to continue until 2025. In March 2018, the United States Air Force Research Laboratory published the first report on this next generation fighter model. According to the plans of the developers, this model of the aircraft will have a perfectly smooth fuselage, it'll be equipped with stealth technology and a high energy laser that will be able to literally cut the enemy's equipment in half. This model is also called penetrating counter air. It is provided with the maximum possible flight range and armament with the latest versions of supersonic weapons. 
It is also planned to coordinate the activities of this fighter with other unmanned vehicles, in particular, drones and network platforms. Nevertheless, most of the technical characteristics of the future NGAD model remain a mystery, due to the classification of this information as classified. In addition, the reluctance of the US Air Force to bring the capabilities of the NGAD fighter to a wide range of discussions can also be explained by the absence of an agreement with the specific company for the production of 6th generation fighters. So, over the past 50 years, the US industrial base has shrunk from 10 companies capable of producing an advanced fighter jet to just 3 defense companies, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. Accordingly, the time required for the Air Force to deploy full-scale production of the new generation fighter aircraft stretched from several years to several decades. As a result, each fighter program becomes very important for companies that are essentially fighting to prove that they can meet the technical requirements during the development and production phase, and carry it at a lower cost compared to competitors. Also, the NGAD program touches on a number of important issues related to the operation of fighters. So, for the Air Force, the turning point comes when the plane turns 15 years old. Thereafter, maintenance costs increase rapidly, increasing by 3-7% to annually. Accordingly, the question arises about the advisability of such a service, especially considering the possibility of purchasing new models of fighters, if, of course, they are ready to develop them at such a pace. In August, the Air Force's Advanced Aviation Programs Department completed its analysis of the matter, testing whether the idea is technically feasible and, more importantly, whether it could save money. It was found that by applying digital manufacturing techniques and developing a prototype NGAD, the total life cycle cost of a next generation fighter could be reduced by 10% over 30 years, compared to fighters such as the F-35 and F-15. However, the implementation of this plan depends, first of all, on the budget for the 2022 financial year and the number of fighters that they plan to manufacture. Nevertheless, the forecast for the success of the NGAD program and its fighters remains rather optimistic, especially considering that the United States recently developed and tested a new fighter project in just a year. So, in September 2020, the Deputy Secretary of the Air Force for Procurement, Technology, and Logistics announced that the full-scale prototype of the NGAD fighter successfully completed its maiden flight. And in May of this year, the Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force announced that the NGAD would begin replacing the F-22, which is considered one of the most successful fifth-generation fighters already in the 2030s. If the program continues to develop at this pace, then we will be able to see this model of the sixth-generation fighter much faster than 2030. The future is closer than we can imagine. And who knows, maybe very soon, Footage from Hollywood fiction will become our daily reality. UAVs, lasers, stealth technology. The main thing in such a future is to remember the capabilities of these technologies and use them for development and protection, and not vice versa. In order to not miss important news about future technologies, we'll keep our finger on the pulse of the latest developments in the field of new generation fighters and look forward to new products. We always keep a close eye on technology news and are the first to report on future and current technological breakthroughs. Join our channel subscribers to be the first in the cohort.